If you follow today's tutorial, you'll learn how to design these two flat character illustrations in just a few steps using Adobe Illustrator. Hey designers, hope you're having an amazing end of the year. I was looking on Dribble and I saw this illustrator. Her name is Daria Semenova and I really like her illustrations. Of course, I found some inspiration when I saw this a particular Dribble shot and I wanted to create something inspired by this. It would be amazing if you want to follow along. Make sure to download the exercise files as well because you can see all of the layers with the final vector files. So the idea is to create a female character that's looking at the male character. And I'm going to do that by starting with the face. I'll take the pen tool and start drawing a face a bit of at an angle. Take the ellipse tool because I want to create an ear. Uh, make it longer and then rotate it around by using the selection tool. Place it somewhere around here. And now we can start working on the hair. I'll choose a lighter shade of gray, double click on the fill and then you can actually make those changes. Don't think too much about the colors that we're using right now, I'm trying to figure out how I can create an illustration that looks uh, pretty good. So let's go over here, try to have a pretty standard. And of course, this looks a bit weird, but once you bring the ear over by hitting command or control right bracket, then it kind of starts making sense. I'll also want to create a neck just because I want this to become a character. So let's create the neck but now we're missing part of the hair over here so with the hair selected now i have the same color applied i'll start from over here and draw a shape that encompasses everything let's close this shape over here make sure that there are no spaces left and send it behind and when i look at it this angle is really bad because the hair comes like this and then the face the other way around so i want the hair to follow along with the face profile as well for the hairstyle i'm actually going to take this ellipse and draw one while holding down shift to make sure that it's a perfect circle and place it somewhere around here. Now I want it to be disconnected from the hair and I want to define the neckline. So with the pen tool I'm going to start from over here, draw a curve just like this and then close it off here and this will make a lot more sense once you start putting in some clothes. Let's define the facial features. Click once on the hair because I want to sample that color. Take the ellipse tool and let's draw an eye. While holding down option or alt you can make a copy and that way you have two eyes, which is ideal. With the pen tool, I'm actually going to draw a nose. It's going to be a pretty basic one. <laughs> right now it doesn't look good because you have the fill. So make sure to go over here and swap the fill and the stroke. This stroke is a bit too small. So from the stroke panel on the right hand side, you can actually make it rounder and let's make it three points. With the pen tool, you can actually draw a small smile, bring it closer to the nose. And now I like to use this style for the ears as well. Let's uh, try to have an ear love and then something that follows along. And also something to differentiate here, the jawline. One thing I would do is actually increase the size a bit, just because it doesn't seem to stand out as much as I wanted it. So let's make it four points. And even with this color scheme, I think it could look decent. Everything's so rounded, but right over here, we have some angles that are a bit too sharp. So with the direct selection tool, I'm going to click once on it and actually make it rounder. Because I really like the way uh, this character has the hair, I'm going to try to do something very similar. So let's click on this once and let's do two sticks like this, but actually let's make them black. So double click on the color picker over here, make sure that the stroke is black, command C, command V, to paste it and then you can just place it there. Let's create the body. It's going to be very, very simple. This is a bit too wide. So while holding down option, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And with the eyedropper tool, I'm going to sample this color, right click, arrange, send to back. And with the direct selection tool, I'll make a couple of adjustments. I like the way these characters are being framed by a square behind. So I'm going to do just that. From over here, you have the rectangle tool, one and arrange, send it to the back. And let's sample a random color from the illustration because I want to start looking at it with some color. And now I would like to fill this frame more with the body. So I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. And right now, this shape overlaps with this one. So with both of them selected by holding down shape, switch to the shape builder tool and actually hit option or alt and you can remove that one now let's start thinking about the color scheme i want this color scheme to be super minimalistic so i'm going to start with base because i want it to blend in with the background so i'll sample the white select the hair and the body and let's play around double click 
to get in it. And I'm actually thinking about a pinkish red, something like this. But there's not enough contrast between the face and the background. So let's select the background and double click. Let's pick a darker blue. I'm having a hard time with these elements. So instead of just trying to figure it out, <laughs> maybe I'm going to do something like this where the character gets cut off by, by the shape. Let's save this color. With it selected, go to the swatches panel, hit new swatch, hit OK. And now I'm going to apply all of those colors to these elements as well. Once you have them selected, make sure you select the stroke, apply that color. For the eyes, because it's a fill, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and actually sample that color. One thing that stands out is actually right over here. It's going over. So with them selected and the shape builder tool, I'm going to actually merge them. And with the direct selection tool, I'm taking that point and moving it up. This way, the transition is way better and I'm going to actually smooth it out a bit. Because I adjusted the height of this rectangle, everything seems a bit too wide. So let's see if this works. Select everything and with options selected, I'm actually going to make it narrower. This one blends in too much. So instead of that, I'm going to actually save up this color, hit OK and apply it to the stroke. The awesome part about using global colors is that you can double click on it and you can actually make changes on the fly. I would like to have some kind of a pattern over here. So I'm going to select this one and with the pencil tool is over here under the shaper tool. With the pencil tool, I'm actually going to draw a couple of random shapes. Let's start from over here and there is no good or bad way of doing this, but I'm trying my best to create a shape. Another thing that stands out is actually the background over here. It's way too sharp. So I'm going to switch to the direct selection tool and make it rounder like that. And now we can start working on the guy. Select everything and while holding down option and shift, I'll make a copy like that. Then go to the reflect tool, it's over here and place a point somewhere in the middle and hold down shift. That way you're going to see it on the other side as well. So I'm trying to use this as a base to actually create the, the male character. Because I want to move faster, I'm just going to repurpose most of these elements. Uh, let's make it like that. We go over here and we don't really need this one anymore. So I'm going to continue from over here to create a couple of spikes. So pretty standard hairdo for, for men. I'm going to actually do something like this. I'm going to continue this one over here to make sure that it goes all the way down and then send it behind everything. The ear can be placed different. Let's rotate it around, move it down a bit. <laughs> Let's adjust the nose. Let's delete this and create a new nose. And also play around with the positioning of, of the eyes just because you like to have it look a bit different than what you got on the other side. Uh, the thing is that the neck is pretty much the same. So I do need to make uh, some changes to make this character a bit more unique. So I'm actually going to delete that. Let's create over here a neckline and send it behind. We do need to work on the body a bit. So I just removed what we previously had and made something different. Let's send this behind and see how it looks. Right now the neck is, is way too down. So with the direct selection tool, I'm actually going to select all of these points and bring them up. <laughs> the neck is now too wide. So I'm going to make the necessary adjustments. I'm not a big fan of the hair. So I'm going to cut it and <laughs> start over. I'm going to start from the ear, have it go like this, then create the, the first the first wave. And let's try something uh, simpler, send it behind. I actually like this way better than uh, what we used to have. So I need to make adjustments just to have a smoother transition over here. I think this is a bit more unique than what we had with the spikes. Select it because I don't really like these curves. And from the pencil tool, you can actually select the smooth tool and go over these shapes just to get better curves. This line over here, you can work on it to make it a bit smaller. One thing that I want to do is actually reverse these colors. The background is actually going to be this pink and the other elements are going to be this blue. Actually, I'm going to <laughs> change all of these colors. I'm actually going to make them pink, select it like that and also sample this color. That way you have a better differentiation between them. Just to make the characters different, even though they're based off of the same one, I'm going to remove a couple of these curves and also adjust over here. Because if they look too much of the same, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I need to create a pattern like this. So with it selected, I'm actually going to take the pencil tool and start drawing. Let's create a color over here. Make sure to select the pink. Now I do need to think about the pattern for 
these clothes so i'm going to create some wavy shapes and also have something that goes over just to work with what she has as well he looks kind of like <laughs> like a christmas tree but that's fine if you want you can just simplify it and call it a day like this hope you had as much fun as i did creating these two characters don't forget to like this video if you sell for and also tag me on Instagram if you're going to follow along with this tutorial. It's always super fun to see what you guys are creating off of these tutorials. And if you want to support this channel, make sure to check out the description because I have a link to my brushes with a special discount code for everybody that's watching that will allow you to add grain and noise texture to your illustrations, both in Illustrator and Photoshop in just a few steps. See you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.